Hi guys, so today is um, August 22nd, um, 2019. Um, I um, just looked through my Goodreads and looked at what I am, um, like what I've read so far in 2019. And this is a video that I probably posted be a little bit before. I think I posted it once in 2018 and yeah. So, let's get on with the video. Okay, so this is going to be a long video, so please take a coffee. <sighs> take a coffee. I just finished mine. And, uh, let's get on with the video. Sorry if it's going to be a long one. Um, it's my most um, anticipated books I've read so far. It's like... Not anticipated, but like most, like my 2019 books that I've read so far. And I'm so excited to show you guys, and it's going to be great. So, let's get on with the video. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so I have to redo this because, um, just a, I don't know, I'm just redoing the video, okay? Redoing it, so... And, um, I know I already did three books, and I'm going to do Course of Frost and Starlight. Okay, okay. This is about a girl named, um, Fairy, who is doing, like, a winter solstice, and she is trying to figure out, um, uh, like, what festivities like they're doing and like how they're I think she like finds a guy named um like she's trying to like work into a um store for like a a friend her and her friend want to like open up a cooking store and I think that's it yeah a cooking I think that's something else. Never mind. Um. Oh, they have like a spring cord and stuff, and I don't know. But this is a good book. Uh, I read, I read this, and um, I have not read this first book before that. Um. Oh, I have Throne of Glass from from um, Sarah J. Mass. I just haven't read it yet. Okay, sorry. Um, a Court of Rings and Ron. I have not read that yet, and I would like to read that. I should have read that first, but I did not. All right, this was really good. I gave her five stars. All right. My highly sophisticated... Highly sophisticated... I don't know how to say that, but this is one of my great books that I read, and I got it. I gave it another five-star read. Um, got a little mark here. Um, this was, oh, um, so, Chords of Frost and Starlight was read December 29th, 2018, and January 5th, 2019. So, I started in 2018 and in 2019, so that's how it started. And then, so, this one I've read, I've started it, I think, the, the 5th of January, and I ended it. January 13th, 2019. So this was my second book I read. And it was so good. And I was like, oh my goodness. John Green's writing is the bomb. And it's about, like, Russell Puckett's son, Davis. Like, who is... They're trying to find, um... I think his son or his dad. One of the two. And they're, they're, he's, like, a billionaire. And he... Um, they're trying to find a reward for him. Because he's, like, some, like bad issue, like, or something, and, um, this girl named Daisy, and, um, uh, shoot, I forgot her name, Aza, um, they're both, like, best friends, and they try to find this together, and it's just interesting, I loved it so much, this was one of the good reads of this year, alright, I ended this on, um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and I, um, this was about two real Graysons, 
and they're both gay, and or one's gay and one's not, and one's trying to figure out, I guess, the other guy is. And this is set place in Chicago, and they, um, they both, um, what are they, they both, um, like, meet up at the same place, like, meet up. And it was, like, just interesting to see, like, how they meet, how they, how they have separate places, like, where they're from, and all that stuff. And they both message each other, I think, and... Yeah, and they're, one's gay and one's not, and it's really cool, and I thought it was really interesting. I gave this a five-star read, and I ended this January 13th, or started it January 13th, 2019, to tw January 21st, 2019. So, this was a quick read for me. I really enjoyed it, and it was really good. And then my next book was another John Green book, well, not John Green, it's Hank Green, it was her brother, and I thought this was really good, an absolute remarkable thing by Hank Green, and this was about the different Carls, like, running around the city, and this girl named, um, oh shoot, I forgot her name, April, this girl named April, and this guy named, there was a guy named something, I forgot his name, so, April, May, and then, Andy, April, May, and Andy, like, make this video on YouTube about these Carls, and apparently it got all viral, and they are, like, um, like, making it into, like, a movie or something, and, like, they figure this out, and it's just really interesting. Um, I'm not going to tell you all much about it, but, like, it was really good. I really enjoyed it, and I also gave it, like, I gave it four stars, actually. Gave it four stars. It wasn't my favorite, but it was really good. It was really good. So, I started this on, September, on Jan January 21st, which was the day that I finished the other one. And I ended it February 2nd, 2019. So, this one took forever, but it was really good. Um... Alright, we're going to get to to all the boys I loved before. Alright, this one I gave a four star rating. Four stars. And this is about a girl named um, Laura Jean. Laura Jean. And um, she is writing a bunch of letters. And this is like a Netflix video, a uh, movie. Um, and I thought it was really good. I did think the movie was really good. It did mention, like, everything in here. And, um, I really enjoyed it. And I started it in February 2nd when I finished it to February 7th. So this one was a really, really quick read. I finished it really fast. Um, but it was really, really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, gave it a four-star read. Not a five-star, but it's okay. I don't have to always give a five-star read to every book. But I did give it a little bit. Um... So she um, wrote a bunch of letters to this guy, and then all of a sudden, this guy, these guys like that she liked, was um, all of a sudden it came out out of nowhere, and um, and they all know about what happened, like why, like how they like got together and everything, like all the other guys, and then she's like trying to fix things, and then her sister, she finds out that her sister did it, and then yeah, and her other sister went to college, and she. She didn't want her to be all freaked out, and with this other one that she liked, um, and it was really good, though. I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, P.S. I Still Love You is the next book, and I have not read that yet, and, um, maybe I'll read that next year, so we'll see. Okay. This was the next book. I definitely gave it a four-star reading. And I started it February 8th, 2019 to February 19th, 2019. So I did do this really quick. I was shocked about it. Um, and I did read it with this copy. And I didn't read it with this copy, but this is the copy that Katya got me. This is the copy that my sister got me. And that's what I read it with. But um, I had two copies of this, but it was so good. It was about an Alice retelling, like an Alice in Wonderland retelling. Really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, Marissa Mayer is really good. Um, I do have another book of hers. 
um, that I really have liked or really want to read. And I'm so excited to read that soon. Um, I think I have Renegades. Yes, Renegades is in there somewhere. But I'm so excited and we'll see. And this is this was just really good. And I did give it a four star rating, so that's okay. Five feet apart. Five star rating. I love this so much. This was Rachel. I don't know how to say her last name, but there's a couple other authors with her. But this was about a girl who has CF, and her name is Stella and Will. Will also has CF, but is a little different. And, um,. Subnexus, Subnexus, uh, something fibrocious. I don't remember what the first one is, but this is really good. I really enjoyed it, and it was like one of my favorites. And I was like, the movie was awesome. I loved the, the movie, and I loved how they like made it into the book. Like the book, like actually like understood everything like with the movie, and I really enjoyed that. And um. So I'm super excited that I read this, and this was read dates read February 20th, 2019 to February 23rd, 2019. So that took me like literally three days to read. I had to read it, and I was like, I need to finish it right away. Dear Evan Hansen's next. I think that's right. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. That's not next. Julie Davies next. Sorry. I don't know if I read I rated this. I don't know why I didn't read it. Oh my goodness. There we go. Four star read. Four star. Or no, I would say five star. I really enjoyed it. Okay. So I gave it five stars. But anyway, dates read February 20th, 24th, 2019 to March 3rd, 2019. This one took a little bit longer because, um, it just took a little longer, and it was really good, and it was about, um, a girl who was really, like, interested in, like, FBI, and really interested of, like, who killed who, and trying to figure out who Charlie Davis is, and, yeah. So, I really enjoyed this one, and I think her name was... Stevie Bell. Stevie Bell. Sorry, I had to re-look re -look for her name. So Stevie Bell really wanted to, like, make it into, like, a... She was determined to find other things. And I was like, seriously? Um... So I was like, okay, why not? Um... And yeah, so, really enjoyed it. Hold on, I gotta take so long. Okay, and then my next one, so that was, yeah, March then. Alright, then it's Dear Evan Hansen, and that one, I read March 4th, 2019 to March 11th, and this one took a little bit, but it was really good. And it was about, um, it's a, it's a play, I'm just saying, it's about a letter, like, so it's Dear Evan Hansen, so it's about a kid who committed suicide, and trigger warnings for that, um, and they're trying to figure out how, or Connor commits suicide, I think, and then Evan tries to figure out why he committed suicide, and he's saying that he's his best friend, or something like that, and it was like, it, it was like crazy. But it was really good. I really highly recommend it. I wanted to see the play, but it was like so expensive near me. So, um, but maybe I'll see it some other time. But it was really good. I do highly recommend it. I got, I gave it five star reads. I know I'm so weird. I like to give it five star reads. And yeah, this was really good. Okay. Little White Lies is next. So that was... A four-star rating. No, yeah, four-star rating. 
and I gave it um, March 11th, 2019 to March 18th, 2019. This one took really quick, too. Um, I really enjoyed this. This was about um, Sawyer, and she's trying to figure out, like, who... Um, I don't know, like, who gives, like, lies and everything? Uh, I don't, I don't remember what this is, but I heard it's really good, and I really liked it. Jennifer Lang Barnes, and she's really good at writing. I do, I do recommend her. Um, she does have another book, and I never read it yet, but it looks really good, so. This one was really good, and you guys, I highly recommend it. So, I was reading the Who, What, Where, When, and Why, um whatever it was like challenge and i couldn't like i could only read one book so i read this one and i gave it a four star rating i don't know why i think i should give it a three star it's a three star read i don't know why it was not like my favorite march 15 2019 to march 28 2019 this one took me a little bit longer also and um I don't know why, but it did, and it was really good, but, like, it was, like, about, like, a baby, um, and that was raised by, like, a witch, and they were trying to see, like, how this witch, like, reacts, like, with everything, and she, it's by Kaylee Barnhill, and it was really good, and it was a good middle grade novel, I'm just gonna tell you that, but it was, like, a little bit, I don't know what to say, like, novel, I don't know, it just, it was really good, it was just, like, interesting. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but it was really good. Um, Matched is next. Okay, we're going to match. Matched. So, um, by Allie Coley. Um, I gave them four star rating. And there's a series too, and I think Crossed is next, and I have not read that yet, but I'm going to try. Um, maybe on the days that my friend, like, wants to read something else. Um, start date March 29, 2019 to May 14th. This one took me forever to finish. I was so busy with work. I was busy, like, with other things and stuff like that. Um, but this one was about, like, a girl, like, that gets matched with a guy named Xander. And I think her, I don't know what her name was in the book. I don't remember. Cassia. Cassia's her name. Cassia's her name. And she, um, she and Alexander, like, gets this matched, and then she's like, okay, and then there's, like, another guy who's, like, invisible for some reason, and he likes her, and I don't know. It just gets confusing. It was so confusing, and I don't know why I enjoyed it, but, like, I did, and I did like it, but, like, it took me forever to finish. Um, we'll see if I even get to the second one. We'll see. I know I won't finish it this year, so that's for sure. Okay. Again, but better. Oh my gosh. This one was really long, too. It, it gave me a five-star read. This probably is one of my anticipated books for the year. I really enjoyed it. Um, May 14, 2019 to June 20, 2019. This one also took me forever to read, but it was such a great book that I was like, I needed to finish it, like, though, and it was a YA book club, and I did go to it, and it was really good, and it was, like, myself, by myself, which was nice, so, um, Shane has been in college all wrong, and then, so she goes to, like, a study abroad, and she meets this guy named, um, I have no idea who this guy is named, I forget. But he's really good, and it was really good, and I thought the whole thing was great. They could travel a lot. They, her mom, her parents don't really know about this guy that they're that he's she's like dating, but like not, and yeah, and so it was really good, and I really enjoyed it. And um, Christine Reg Reg Reggio 
is such a good author and she also does booktube so I highly recommend checking her out um uh, yeah she was really good okay so my last one this sorry it's taking me forever to read this so take a coffee and have that okay this is my last one and I just finished yesterday recently so this gave me a four star rating it was good though um June 20, 2019 to August 21st, 2019. This one took me like two months to read. The longest ever, and it was like this much. Yes, because I was super busy. And this one might even take me longer to read. And this is my next book. Like, look at this compared to this. Look at this compared to this. Sorry, this compared to this. Like, seriously? <laughs> but, um, if I finish this... I hope I finish this soon so that I can read Six of Crows next. And I'm so excited, but we'll see. So, this one was um, about a girl named Jessie and this guy named Ethan. And she's trying to find out who SN is. And she does not even know who this guy SN is. And um, she's like, oh my god, is this Liam? Like, who doesn't know? And, like, I don't know. So... She, she does find out who it is. I'm not going to tell you who it is. It's one of the three guys from the band who, though, but I'm not going to tell you who because um, it's just really good. And it's set in Chicago to L.A. So she's moved from Chicago to L.A. and um, her because her dad got a job. And she, um, yeah, I, I, I already explained it in my last video. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm really excited that I finished it. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I can't do what to say next yet because, um, I'm, I have to, like, start this one right now because my friend's already, like, halfway through. Katya. You already know her. So, yeah. So. Okay, so that was my, my, my books that I've read so far in 2019. Um, I'm going to probably do the next half, like, soon, right before 20, 2020 starts, and before the new year, and, yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, um, what have you read this year, and I'm so excited to know what 2020 is bringing to you guys, like, what kind of books in 2020 will bring to you, and, yeah, so I do have a bunch of these books that I have to read, so we'll see what I read in 2020 from all that. So, hopefully you guys please liked my, like, liked my video, and comment down below again, what have you read in 2019 is your favorite book, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye.